ഹലോ ഓൾ മൈസൽ ഫ്രാഗും അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് രാജ്ഗിരി സ്കൂൾ ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ട്യൂട്ടോറിയൽസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ആർ എൽ സി സീരീസ് ആർ എൽ ആർ സി ആൻഡ് ആർ എൽ സി സർക്യൂട്ട്സ് ദ തിയറി പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദീസ് ടോപ്പിക്സ് ഹാസ് ഓൾറെഡി ബീൻ ഡെൽറ്റ് വിത്ത് മിസ്റ്റർ ഉണ്ണികൃഷ്ണൻ എൽ ആൻഡ് മിസ്സസ് രേണു ജോർജ് ഹാസ് പാർട്ട് വൺ ആൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ടു ഓഫ് ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ In the first question, a resistance of 50 ohm is connected across the supply voltage given by V equal to 50 sin 314 T. Calculate the power dissipated in the resistor. That is the question. So, in this question, Vm is given to be 50 volt because as you know, the equation for voltage is V equal to Vm sin omega t. So, Vm is given to be 50 volt and the value of resistance is given to be 50 ohms. So, from this you can calculate what is the current. That is the maximum value of current. So, Im is equal to Vm divided by R which will get it to be 1 ampere. And the equation for power dissipated is Vi or you can calculate it to be I square R. So, Vi simply means it actually represent VRMS into IRMS. So, here we know only the maximum value of voltage and current. So, converting from maximum value to the RMS value, the equation is V equal to Vm by root 2 and I is equal to Im by root 2. So, substituting the values of Vm and Im, we will get the power dissipated to be 25 watts. Second question. A 50 hertz alternating voltage of 220 volt produces a current of 2.2 ampere in a purely inductive coil. Find first one the inductive reactance of the coil, second one inductance of the coil, third one power absorbed and fourth one equation for the applied voltage and current so in the question the given data are frequency is 50 hertz the rms value of voltage is given to be 220 volt and the rms value of current is given to be 2.2 ampere so to find the inductive reactance represented by xl that is equal to v divided by i so we will get it to be 100 ohms Second one is to find the inductance of the coil. As you know, inductive reactance XL is equal to L into omega. So, from that equation, L is equal to XL divided by omega. Also, you know, omega is equal to 2 pi F. So, substituting the values for XL and F, we will get the value of inductance to be 0.318 Henry. And as you have already learned, The power absorbed by a purely inductive coil is zero. And the fourth one is to find the equation for applied voltage and current. So to find the equation for applied voltage and current, the equation for voltage is V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So in this question V is given, that is the VRMS is given. So to find Vm, the relationship is Vm is equal to V into root 2. That is, we will get it to be 311.13 volt. So, substituting in the equation, we will get it to be 311.13 sin 314 T. Why 314 T? Because omega is equal to 2 pi F. Now, in a purely inductive circuit, you know that current is lagging behind the applied voltage by an angle of 90 degrees. So, the equation for current is I is equal to I m sin omega t minus 90 degree or minus pi by 2 radians. So, the value of current is maximum value of current is I m is equal to I into root 2 which we will get it to be 3.11 ampere. So, the equation for the instantaneous value of current is I is equal to 3.11 sin 314 T minus pi by 2. Third question. A capacitance of 40 microfarad is supplied with a potential difference of 220 volt. What must be the frequency if the current has to be first one 2.765 ampere and second one 5.53 ampere. So the data is given in the question are capacitance is equal to 40 microfarad and 
voltage v is given to be 220 volt so taking the first case where current is equal to 2.765 ampere we can compute the value of xc as v by i so we will get the answer to be 79.57 ohms so now x is equal to 1 by c omega that is the equation for capacitive reactants where omega is equal to 2 pi f so from this equation we can find the frequency to be f is equal to 1 by 2 pi into x c into c so substituting the values of c and x c we will get the frequency to be 50 hertz in case 1 now repeating the same procedure for case 2 where the current is 5.53 ampere in this case we will get the value of capacitive reactants to be 39.78 ohms so using the same formula we will get the answer for frequency as 100 hertz question number 4 a 230 volt 50 hertz supply is applied to a coil of resistance R equal to 10 ohms and inductance 0 0.2 Henry. Calculate first one reactance and impedance of the coil, second one current and its phase angle relative to the applied voltage. Here a series RL circuit is given in the question where voltage V is 230 volt, frequency F is given to be 50 hertz, resistance is given to be 10 ohms and inductance is given to be 0.2 henry so first one is to calculate the reactants as you know the equation for inductive reactants xl is l omega so substituting the values of l and omega omega is equal to 2 pi f substituting the values of l and f we will get the answer for inductive reactants to be 62.82 ohms now second one is to calculate the impedance to calculate the impedance the equation is z is equal to root of r square plus xl square hope you remember this formula derived from the impedance triangle so the impedance we will get it to be 63.61 ohms now you know the impedance can be represented in its complex form so for a series rl circuit impedance is represented as z is equal to r plus j xl so substituting the value of r and xl we will get it to be 10 plus j 62.82 ohms so this is how we represent the impedance in rectangular form so if you convert this into polar form using your calculator you will get the value of impedance to be 63.61 angle 80.96 degrees where 63.61 represent the magnitude of the impedance which we will get by finding root of 10 square plus 62.82 the whole square and the angle is obtained by taking tan inverse of 62.82 by 10 so this is the representation of impedance in complex form first one the term with j represent the rectangular form and the second one represent the polar form now the second part of the question is to find the current so current as you know i is equal to v divided by z so substituting the value of V and Z, we will get the value of current to be 3.615 ampere. And now phase angle, to find the phase angle, we know that the equation for power factor is cos phi is equal to R divided by Z. So phase angle phi is equal to cos inverse of R divided by Z, which we will get to be 80.96 degrees. Question. A 50 hertz sinusoidal voltage 40 plus j 30 volt is applied to a series RL circuit resulting in a sinusoidal current of 4 plus j 1 amperes. Calculate the impedance, the power consumed and the power factor of the circuit. So the given data are frequency is given to be 50 hertz, voltage is given to be 40 plus j 30 volt and current is given to be 4 plus j 1 amperes. So first one is to find the impedance. As you know impedance is equal to voltage divided by current. So converting the voltage 
given in rectangular form to its polar form, we will get the value of voltage to be 50 angle 36.9 degrees. And converting current from rectangular to polar will result in 4.123 angle 14 degrees. So impedance is equal to 50 angle 36.9 divided by 4.123 angle 14. And the answer we will get it to be 12.13 angle 22.9. So this answer is actually obtained by 12.13 is obtained by 5, dividing 50 with 4.123. And the angle part is obtained by 36.9 minus 14 which will get it to be 22.9 degrees. So this is the representation of the impedance in polar form where 12.13 represent the magnitude of impedance and 22.9 represent the phase angle. So now converting this impedance into rectangular form we will get the value of impedance to be 11.17 plus J4.72. So remember all these conversions you can do it using your calculator. Now you have to always remember whenever we represent the impedance in rectangular form this will represent the real part of the impedance will represent the resistance and the imaginary part will represent the reactance so in this case Z is of the form R plus JXL so R is 11.17 ohms and XL is 4.72 ohms now the second part of the question is to find the power consumed so the formula is I square R or you can calculate to be Vi cos phi. So I square R substituting the value of I to be 4.123 and R to be 11.17 will get the power to be 189.88 watts. And the third part of the question is to find the power factor. So power factor is given by cos phi is equal to R divided by Z. We will get it to be 0.921 lag. Why lagging is because it is a series RL circuit where current is lagging behind the applied voltage so the power factor will be lagging so another method to find the power factor is cosine of the angle phi we already know phi is 22.9 degrees we have found out that from the impedance which is represented in the polar form so another method to find the same is cos 22.9 where we will get the same answer sixth question a 100 ohm resistor is connected in series with 120 microfarad capacitor to a 230 volt 50 hertz supply. Find first one the circuit impedance, second one current, third one power factor, fourth one phase angle, fifth one voltage across resistance and sixth one voltage across capacitance. So the given data are R is equal to 100 ohms, C is equal to 120 microfarad, V is equal to 230 volt and frequency is 50 hertz. So the given question belongs to that of a series RC circuit. So first finding the capacitive reactance that is XC which is equal to 1 by C omega. So substituting the values of C and frequency will get the answer to be 26.5 ohms. So the first part of the question is to find the impedance and impedance is said is calculated as root of r square plus xc square where we get the answer to be 103.45 ohms. Also the impedance can be represented in complex form for a series rc circuit to be z is equal to r minus jxc that is 100 minus j26.5 which represents the rectangular form of representation. Now the same thing can be expressed in polar form as 103.45 angle minus 14.98 where 103.45 represent the magnitude of impedance and minus 14.98 represent the phase angle. Second part of the question is to find the current as you know I is equal to V by Z so substituting the values will get the answer to be 2.22 amperes. Now third one is to find the power factor cos phi. So cosine of minus 14.98 will get it to be 0.966. Since it is a RC series RC circuit, the power factor will be leading. So 0.966 lead. 
Fourth one is to find the phase angle. So the phase angle is 14.98 degrees. Fifth one is to find the voltage across resistance represented by V subscript R. So Vr is equal to I into R. Substituting the values of I and R will get the voltage to be 222 volt. And the last one is to find the voltage across the capacitance which is equal to I into Xc which will get it to be 58.83 volt. The seventh question is a resistor of resistance 10 ohms, inductance 0.3 Henry and a capacitor of 100 microfarad are connected across a 230 volt 50 hertz supply in series. Calculate first one the impedance, second one current, third one voltage across the three elements R, L and C and fourth one is power consumed and the fifth one is the power factor. So given circuit corresponds to a series RLC circuit. So the given data are R is equal to 10 ohm, L equal to 0.3 Henry, C equal to 100 microfarad, V equal to 230 volt and frequency is 50 hertz. So first let us find the inductive and the capacitive reactants. So XL is equal to L into omega. So substituting the values of L and omega we will get the answer to be 94.24 ohms. And Xc is 1 by C omega. So substituting the values we will get it to be 31.83 ohms. As we can see XL is greater than Xc in the given circuit. So the circuit is a predominantly inductive circuit. So impedance can be found out using the formula is a d equal to root of r square plus xl minus xc the whole square. So substituting the values of r, xl and xc will get the answer to be 63.2 ohms. Now here also we can represent as we have done before the impedance in complex form. So the complex representation of impedance here is is a d equal to r plus j into xl minus xc. Since it is a predominantly inductive circuit, you can see the value of impedance is 10 plus J62.41. Now, in polar form, you will get it to be 63.2 angle 80.9 degrees. Now, the second one is to find the current, where current is equal to V by Z and the answer is 3.64 amperes. Now, the third one is to find the voltage across R, L and C and the equations as you know, Vr is Ir, Vl is I into Xl and Vc is I into Xc. So, substituting the values, you will get the answer to be Vr 36.4 volt, Vl 3, 343 volt and Vc to be 115.86 volt. Fifth one sorry fourth one is to find the power consumed the equation for power consumed is i square r or you can take it to be vi cos phi so the answer is 132.5 watts and the last one is power factor which is given by cos phi you can either calculate to be cosine of 80.9 or you can find it to be cos phi equal to r by z which is 0.158 lag lagging since the circuit is a predominantly inductive circuit Thank you all.